the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. I am Bishop Matthew Remedio Adam, a bishop for the Catholic Diocese of Wao in South Sudan. And I'm here in Uganda briefly to attend the consecration of a newly consecrated bishop of uh, Kotido, Bishop uh, Dominic Abu, who had been my companion in the novitiate and we worked together for many years in the mission together. And, uh, and I'm very pleased to accompany him in this very important moment for him and the people of Kotido, for their new bishop. Uh, I am working in uh, South Sudan uh, in, uh, in the mission of in the, in the diocese of Wow, a very huge diocese, and very happy with the people they are in the diocese. And uh, just uh, I'm a bishop for two years now, and I am very happy with my mission. As, uh, as I started this new <coughs> mission of being a bishop, uh, very I found a very collaboration, very much collaboration from the side of the priests and uh, and the faithful. So I, I am here, and uh, I consider with this Sunday of uh, third Sunday of ordinary time in year A. Uh, where the message is very clear and very effective for uh, our uh, community life. And especially as we, the parishioners in this, uh, in this parish of Mboya. The readings today, especially the one of the, the second reading of uh, St. Paul to Corinthians in the third week, of uh, say Sunday of ordinary time is speaking about unity and harmony among the people and especially as a community parish that let us we should be united you should be united there will be no need for division no need for saying I am with this I am with Paul I am with uh, Apollos I am with this I am with uh, Kephas this is not the, uh, the, the the principal elements among the Christian community, as Saint Paul said, he was asking the the, the Christian community of uh, Corinthians whether you are whether you are for Saint Paul who crucified himself for your salvation. Saint Paul never crucified himself for your for your salvation. It is Jesus Christ Himself who crucified Himself for your salvation, and so people should be united for Jesus. And then there's the gospel of today, the, the, the third Sunday is uh, it's just a fulfillment on the first, uh, the fulfillment of the first reading of the, the, the prophet Isaiah, that the light appears for those who are in darkness. What we have heard from the first reading already is fulfilled in the, in the gospel, that Jesus, after hearing that John the Baptist has been arrested, he withdrew from Nazareth, he went to Galilee. And there, along the sea, he showed the light for those who were very far from, uh, from the faith of, of, of Judea. So he showed as a new light for those who were living in deep darkness. And what is important here is Jesus today in the gospel, he uh, appointed, he has chosen the first four disciples after hearing that John the Baptist has been arrested he wants this work to continue and this work this mission cannot fulfill with himself but he needs a continuation and that is why immediately he appointed the first two uh, disciples and then another two four disciples uh, he, uh, he has chosen them so that they can accompany him in his mission this is the mission of Jesus Christ we are continuing doing it so the, our work as a missionaries, as a parishioners, as a people, as a Christian community is just a continuation of the mission of Jesus Christ. That the evangelization will never stop with us, but we give continuity to it because it is already a mission of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much.